Luggage and packing. You pack too much. That's what I pack to go around the world. Multiple years around the world. This is everything I carry, every situation, every weather condition, camping, cooking, four seasons. I'm gonna unpack it, show you what I carry with me. Welcome to Motor Trek. I'm Paul, around the world Paul, or RTW Paul, you might know me as. I've been on the road for nine years riding around the world and I'm heading out again. Luggage is, it's a difficult thing. A lot of guys, their luggage is big, it's huge. You pack what makes you feel comfortable, but do you need it all? I'm gonna go through everything I have here. I'm leaving, I'm gonna go from Europe to Siberia. I'm going via the stands, I'm going through Mongolia. I'm cooking and camping all the way. I don't use hotels. I change bikes, I'm on a dirt bike, KTM 500 EXC. I've used hard luggage in the past, it doesn't work on a, on a dirt bike, so I went to soft luggage, and the system that works for me is Moscow Moto. So a hood tank bag, and this is their new version three revolver reckless 80 system. It's a rackless system on the back. I chose to use a rack, you don't need one, I just wanted some extra structure there. First thing would be the tank bag. I wanted a tank bag that was just easy. I take a lot of photographs. So I wanted to be able to open the tank bag with one hand, pull out a camera, take a photo, put it back, and click that thing close, and I'm done. Top bag. I carry an oil change. So what's in here? Not much. Bag of toiletries. Bag of charging cables for batteries, computer, that kind of thing. Clothes. That's all my clothes for warm weather. So I carry two or three changes, t-shirts, pair of pants, a few changes of, of underwear, socks, that kind of thing. That's everything in there. And a computer in a solid case, so if I drop the bike, it doesn't get damaged. Back here, I have a pouch. I could use a paper map or maybe insurance documents, border documents, good place to keep those. On the left side of the bike, I keep my camping stuff, my house, my home. Two bags, real easy to take out. In the big bag, I have a two-man tent. So I like to keep my gear inside, so me and my gear equals a two-man tent. A sleeping pad, and nice and tightly packed in the bottom. I carry a sleeping bag, but I also carry a blanket as well, so I have for warm and for colder weather. In the small bag, just a couple of things. I wear full-on motocross boots. I want to get into a pair of shoes as soon as I can and a spare tube, that's a 21, so it fits on the front and the back of the bike. On the right side, I have uh, stuff for cold weather, so warm weather clothes, and uh, stuff for cooking, and a few other random things. So these bags are easy to get out. They're actually easier when they're dirty. A little bit of dust just helps them slide out. In the big bag, that's a bike cover, very important for security. Going into areas where mosquitoes are present, mosquito nets and a big floppy hat to keep them from biting my neck and my face. That's a puffy jacket to keep me warm on cold nights. A towel. Washing soap, so I have nice clean clothes. That's a bag of clothes for cold weather, so to keep me warm. A washing line. And that's my cooking stuff, so pots, pans, plate, knives, forks, that kind of stuff. And in the little bag is my uh, other cooking stuff. So in here, my cooking stove. I use a specific cooking stove. It's a I carry that so I can actually fill up with gas and I can obviously take gas off the bike if I need to. But the nice thing about this one, this is a, it's a multi-stove, so I can actually use different things. I can use 
gas out of a can, I can use gas out of the bike, I can use diesel. So that, that makes it good to use in any country in the world. Nice fork spoons to eat with. And in the bottom of the bag, my pump. So if I get a flat tire, I can pump up my tires. So the other thing that I carry with me is a hydration pack. I carry a pretty decent sized one. If you notice, I got two tubes on here. I actually carry six liters worth, but I only usually fill up three liters. But if I'm going into a remote area, it's the lightest, easiest way to carry additional water. So I can actually carry six liters of volume of water. In the hydration pack in the top pocket, because I wear goggles all the time, I just carry some extra, some extra lenses. I see quite a few because I'm on the road. They're not always the easiest thing to find. And in here, let me just pull this little thing out. There's another additional pack in here. Because I wear motocross boots, they're not waterproof. They're not Gore-Tex. Motocross boots never are, so I have Gore-Tex socks. And I have waterproof pants because I prefer to wear motocross pants. So these are just Gore-Tex overpants, easy and quick to put on. So I have them in here as easy access. My tools, I didn't want them up here on the back of the bike, extra weight. So I have a rally bash plate that has an integrated toolbox. So this is where I keep my tool roll. And that's my tools. What didn't I bring? A chair. Oh, horror. I do have a chair. Look, I have some clothes. I have a bike. It's comfortable. I got someone to leave. I got a chair. So that's everything. That's all I've got. There might be things inside of things, you know, lighters or there's a first aid kit. I don't need to show you that stuff. It's in there. This is everything. I've been on the road for nine years. I have everything I need. If any reason I forgot something, I go to a store, I buy it. There's shops everywhere. It's not a big deal. So this is it. This is me. This is life on the road.